Hi everybody, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we are going to cover a question that came in, can I make a movie recording other than a turntable in ZBrush? So in order to record a movie other than a turntable, what we first need to do is go to movie and let's dock this to our left hand side by clicking that icon one time. And now that we're in the movie palette, what we need to do is go down to timeline and go to show timeline. This is going to show a brand new timeline that's directly above your history timeline of your subtool. Here is where we get to start controlling how our movie looks. The next thing we're going to want to do is actually add some keyframes and control the viewport as if it's our camera to showcase where the keyframes will go. All we need to do to add our first keyframe is come on up to the timeline and click one time in the timeline and that will now add our keyframe. This is now the starting of our movie. We're going to go ahead and pivot this sculpt just a little bit over here and add a second keyframe. Now the cool thing about this is we get this little bar right here and what this bar does is allows us to grab it and scrub through our current timeline. We can also use the arrow keys on our keyboard to go ahead and bounce back and forth between the keyframes that we select. Real quick tip, if you put a keyframe down and you realize that I don't like that keyframe, all you need to do is hold control grab and drag the keyframe back into the viewport and that keyframe disappears. Now that we started adding our keyframes, let's go ahead and start creating our movie. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to start moving around, maybe zoom in a little bit to show some of the detail of the sculpt. And I'm going to just kind of figure out how I want to showcase this. And this part is completely up to you. Whatever you feel is going to show your sculpt the best. Now that I'm done, I can go ahead and grab and scrub through this and kind of see what my movie is going to look like. At this point, we're almost ready to render out our movie, but before we do that, let's just go over just a couple more controls before we go ahead and render. The first control on this timeline preview is that if we grab this bar and we go ahead and click and scrub through, we can preview our movie. But if we hold shift and click that bar, that's going to start previewing our movie so we can see how it plays before we render. This is a really good tip so that way you can go through and make any adjustments you need before you decide to commit to a render. In order to pause this, because we're saying we're done previewing it, we like everything we see, you can go ahead and hit escape and that will pause the play preview. And then now we're going to be ready to hit render. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift R and then of course now I'm going to come up to this bar I'm going to hold shift and control and I'm going to go ahead and click one time. What this is going to do is it's now going to start rendering my movie and recording at the same time. So we'll go ahead and let this finish up and when we come back we'll go ahead and see the movie in action. Now that the movie is recorded we can go ahead and export it out by going up to movie clicking on export naming the file whatever we needed to and then clicking save. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified each time we upload a video. And please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.